Greetings, this is Sebastian Tomek with an ancient DNA paper review. Today we will look on the paper Massive Migration from the Steppe was the source for Indo-European languages in Europe in nature. There are two questions that archaeogenetics can answer. Firstly, almost all Europeans today speak Indo-European languages. Did the introduction of Indo-European coincide with migration? Secondly, did the introduction of farming in Europe, the Neolithic Revolution, coincide with a population replacement or just spread of technology? This paper analyzes DNA from 69 individuals living in the time period 6000 to 1000 BC. The map and table shows the location and age of the samples. The papers show that the populations of Western and Far Eastern Europe followed opposite trajectories between 6000 and 3000 BC. In the West, at the beginning of the Neolithic, about 6000 to 5000 BC, closely related groups of early farmers appeared in the West. These Neolithic farmers originate in Anatolia, today's Turkey, and were different from the indigenous hunter-gatherers of Western Europe. In contrast, the East remained inhabited by the distinctive population of Eastern hunter-gatherers. In the West, by 4000 to 2000 BC, there is a reversal of the trend, such that farmers throughout much of Europe had more hunter-gatherer ancestry than the, their predecessors. In the East, the Yamnaya steppe herders of the time were descendants not only from the preceding Eastern European hunter-gatherers, but also from population of Caucasian ancestry. Around 2,500 years BC, a massive migration into the heartland of Europe by the Yamnaya people took place. The late Neolithic coded were people from Germany traces three-fourths of their ancestry to the Yamnaya. This steppe ancestry is dominant in most present-day Europeans. It supports the steppe origin of the Indo-European languages in Europe. The principal component plot shows how the ancient samples relate to each other and to modern-day populations. To the bottom left we see the western hunter-gatherers. To the top left we see the eastern hunter-gatherers. Mix of populations leads to a shift in position. The Scandinavian hunter-gatherers are an example of a mixture between western and eastern hunter-gatherers. Early Neolithics are seen in the middle bottom. The increased western hunter-gatherer contribution represents the la late Neolithic shift. The arrival of the steppe Yamnayas in the Neolithic Europe causes the shift to the modern European makeup as a mixture of Neolithic and Yamnayas. No current population correlates totally with the old hunter-gatherer populations. Only Sardinians still retain the genetic makeup of the Neolithic colonizers of Europe. Thank you for listening. Until next time. Stay safe.